So back home we're running out of food and we decided to not cook anymore. We decided to simply try Laotian food. So we're at our local market and about to try some of the pre-cooked foods that the locals eat. We never usually buy them but you know there's always a first time and that first time is today. Yeah we have no idea what they are so we're just gonna blindly buy a few things and try them at home so let's go and see let's what there do is. It. All right, what is there? Is it all opened up already? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Do you want to go get some rice? What are you getting here? I'm going to get 5,000 worth of sticky rice to go with the food we're going to buy. So 5,000 is like 50 cents. It's not a lot. And this is how much you're getting. So check it out. It is a huge bag. It's a, yeah, pretty decent amount of rice for 50p. We got some sausages. You want to try some of these sausages? Sure. They look really good. Can Should we get two, two stacks of them? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Okay. Two. What is that? I have no idea. It looks like some sort of like dried out meat, but not sure. What's this, Olivia? We never tried this. Should we try it as well? I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah? And yes. then she got like little fish in here. And even yeah, fried frogs. Do you want to try some fried frog? Fried frog? Yeah. yeah. Go on then. Yeah, so here how it goes, fried frog. <laughs> Try it. Can I get some veg? No. Uh, today? Ha pan. Whatever there is. It seems like it's vegetables with yeah, just chili and vegetables. Good. Wow, 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 very nice. Look at all these desserts. I like coconut stuff. Is it like the jelly stuff that they eat? I don't know what it is. What is this made out of? I have no idea. Probably like sugar or something like that. Do you want to try some? Do you want to try some banana cake? I don't think it's yeah. banana cake. I think it is. Or something. Or maybe coconut. Yo, we should yeah. try this. Yeah, let's do it. Could I? Huh. Okay, so we got this. Mario seems to think that it's coconut, but I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know what any of these are actually made of, like, I think this is corn and beans, yeah. but I'm not sure about them. Let us know in the comments. So this stall, I think these have inside like the um, hearts and like intestines and parts of the animal that we don't really tend to eat. We're not going to try that today, but maybe in another video we will give that a go. Because that's pretty crazy for us. of food that they usually have that are like stews or something but we'll definitely try them a different time we decided to get Lao barbecue instead some of the food in here we have already tried obviously like the sticky rice and stuff but some of the stuff like this not entirely sure like in our countries we don't usually eat this but this my friends is frogs as you can barbecue see barbecue frog barbecue frog yeah so I actually think that we've seen these jumping around our garden before. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think they're all over the place. So I think, I think locals just catch these in their local area and just barbecue them like that. Then we also have some sort of meat. Uh, I don't know, it's, is it smoked or? It smells like cooked on a barbecue. So I'm, I'm imagining this is pork. Probably pork, never tried it before, no idea what it's called. Let us know in the comments below if you guys know. And then we got plenty of these sausages. It's like homemade. Sausages, you can tell wow. the way it's made, it's proper homemade. It's not perfect looking, but I can imagine it's gonna taste delicious. Now, the last dish that we have, as soon as we opened it, the bag, the entire room just started to smell pretty strong. So, it's a salad, and I'm not entirely sure what is, what's that smell coming from? Where is it coming from? So, like this, this gooey stuff, if you guys know what this is, let us know, because we have no clue. Is it bamboo or no? It smells like seafood, I don't even know. Oh, it could be seafood, like a tentacle. Thing. Yeah, it could be like a tentacle. It looks like boiled veg, but it's very stinky, and <laughs> there's like three chilies in there, so 
I feel like that might be quite spicy. So altogether, all of this only costs five US dollars, which is absolutely nothing for a dinner for two people. And I'm not in even entirely sure if we are gonna be able to finish it all. I think this is for like four people. The portion know, size. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of food. But anyways, let's dig in. I'm starving. So I think first thing we should go for. It's not the sticky rice. It's not the sausage. I'm pretty sure you guessed it right. It's the frogs. <laughs> are you ready? Ah. Uh. Right, so we're trying out the frog now. One thing about Laos that I love is that they pretty much barbecue everything. They love their barbecue. So this is the frog. These are the legs. Frog's legs. So yeah, let's try some frog legs. It smells like barbecue. This is the meat of frog. What does it taste like? The texture is a bit like chicken. Chicken? The texture. It's, it's very light flavored. It's not very strong flavor, you know? It's actually not so bad. Really? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. a little fly. Say hi to the camera. So the middle bit seems to be stuffed with something. Is it like herb? Yeah, it's lemon herb. I think it's, yeah, it's lemongrass, sorry. This is the frog's mouth. Ah. Uh, the brain. Look at this meat. Right off the bone. Purely frog amphibian meat straight into my mouth. Dun, dun, dun. Tastes like chicken. I think we could even catch these in our own garden. Mm. Yeah? It tastes really good. Do you want to try? Ah. I'm not even sure which parts I can eat. Should I try the leg? Yeah. You just bite into it? Yeah. There she goes. You look terrified. I am a bit terrified. You good? It's spicy, which is expected. But yeah, like you said, it tastes like chicken. Yeah. Like chewy chicken. Okay, let me try a different part. Which part is best, do you think? I don't know. Just give it a go. Whoa. Look at that. A lot of meat in there. Okay, let's try this bit. There's a little bone there. Tiny little bone. I think I can eat this part here. Mm. How is it? It's actually really good. <laughs> I can only hear the cat in the background just meowing. You can <laughs> probably smell the frog. <laughs> Okay, now we are going to try the vegetables, which look pretty basic, but the smell is pretty strange. It's like pickled, but kind of sweaty in a way. It doesn't smell like amazing. But first I'm gonna try maybe with a bit of sticky rice. Got my sticky rice. I'm gonna dip it in there. Get a bit of veg on top. How's the salad, the funky salad? Um. It really doesn't taste so much. I think it's like kind of pickled in a way. Okay. So a bit watery. Is it good? Is it's it not, bad? It's not spicy. It really doesn't have much flavor. It's kind of like just a refreshing little crunch with the barbecue. I may have figured out why it smells like it does. So there is loads and loads of spring onion bulbs. So it's like a very strong, smelly onion smell. So there's loads of cabbage, morning glory. Loads of spring onion and this thing, which I'm about to bite into and try. What is that thing? Ooh, it's like jelly like, I don't know. Here we go. How, what does it taste like? Oh. Oh. It's like jelly at first, and then it kind of just becomes all mushy and. That's so weird. What is that thing? I don't know if it's a vegetable or a seafood. It I can't tell based on the flavor. It's just the texture is really weird. I've actually seen these in like um, mixed salads and stuff, you know, with the snails and things, but really have no idea what this is. If you guys know, please let us know. Next up we have the pork. We think it's pork. We're gonna give it a go. Looks pretty porky. It's pretty tough. I'm just gonna bite into it like this. Go for it. Is it hard? Pretty chewy. What does it taste like? Is it even pork? Mm. 
<laughs> You'll like this, Mario. Really? Yeah. It's pretty chewy. It must have some kind of glazing on the outside that gives it like a kind of sweet flavor a bit. It's really good. Wow. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Olivia says this is really good, so I'm gonna give it a go myself. Mmm. Yeah? There's something that you would eat with like bear. Bear? Beer. Oh, beer. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said bear. I did say bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite salty. It's not bad. It's like a beer snack, yeah. But it's right. a beer snack for sure, yeah. The sticky rice with yeah. it. I'm gonna try some of this like weird vegetable. See what it's like. Mm, the smell is so strong. It's the onion, it's so strong. Wow. Wow. Very, very intense smell. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is mm. not as intense as the smell. I guess. I guess. Not Do entirely you? sure about this salad. It's not my kind of thing. I can already like, oh, feeling it like it's not my kind of thing. Why I'm sorry. you try this thing? I don't want to. Please try it. I don't want to. Please try it. The okay. viewers want to see you try it. Only for it. the camera, right. Only for the camera, there you go. Whatever that is, it doesn't smell right. Oh! You just jumped. <laughs> it's alive! You nearly ran away from me. <laughs> wow. Mario needs to wash away that flavor. Ah, it's nice to have some sugar cane. In fact, it's not for long though. Sugar cane is coming to an end because it's the end of the season. To find this sugar cane today, I had to drive all around my village and I found it in like the main market and it was a little bit more expensive than usual. So that means sugar cane is coming to an end. No more sugar cane for like an entire year. That's a shame because I really love sugar cane. Right, the very last but not the least is the sausages, the local sausages. So I'm just gonna literally go straight into it. So as you can see inside, it has onion, garlic probably. Really nice smells, smells really lovely. So I'm just gonna give it a bite. Mmm, mmm. Such a nice pork sausage. Slightly bit sweet, not too sweet, not a lot of herbs. So it's kind of close to the western style sausages that we eat. It's just like very peppery, garlicky, oniony. It's delicious. I love it. <sighs> it smells really good. Mm. Is it good? You like it? Mm hmm. I love how homemade it is. Like, everything's in there. You can tell someone's made this by hand. It's really delicious. It really is western style, like you said. Sometimes Lao sausages can be a bit too herby for us, like, because we're not a fan of the Lao herbs. But these ones are really, really nice. Overall, I can understand why Lao barbecue is very, very popular here. It is really delicious. This, I'm not sure if this salad actually has a name, but if you guys know, please let us know in the comments because it's not the best. We don't like it that much, but hey, we've tried it now. The frog, it's okay, but I feel like... You don't get that much for what's on a frog, like meat-wise. There's not that much to it. How much did we pay for the frog? I don't even remember. I think it was five or ten thousand kip, so a dollar maybe. A dollar for two frogs. Most of it is herbs, look. Like all this middle section. So there's not that much to it, really. Yeah, it's mainly like like the thighs, isn't it? Like that's where all the meat is sort of like in this thigh bit here. Sticky rice, as you know, is a staple here in Laos. You have it with all the barbecue style things. This, what did you think of this, Mario? I really like this one. This one yeah. is my favorite. I think we're gonna get it again. I think we'll get this again. It was pretty chewy, but really delicious. It has a really nice glaze into it. And of course, the sausages are amazing. We're gonna be eating these all night. So good. I'm pretty sure we forgot something else. I'm sure there was like a dessert, wasn't it? We forgot the dessert! Yes! <sighs> Let's give it a go, because I'm pretty sure there's goddamn coconut in there. <laughs> Okay, it's very, very wet and sticky. Oh, smell it. It's like the coconut pancake from Langkawi. So it is coconut. It's coconut. So this is how mushy it is. Look at that, it just crumbles off. It's a bit wet. I'm just gonna eat it right now. Go for it. 
Let us know how it is. Oh my gosh, it tastes like, um, you know, like sponge cake with custard on, poured on it. Can I have some? It's so good. Mmm, <laughs> it does taste like that. Oh my god, that's I can amazing. taste a bit of egg in there as well. Yeah, egg. Mm. Oh my gosh, why, why do we not eat these more often? This is amazing. Mm. It was like 50 cents as well, it was really, really good. <laughs> So there was loads of other foods in the market that we didn't buy today. We could make another video like this and try, but we didn't try yet. There's honestly so much Lao food. Yeah, I mean, to try them all for just us two, we just didn't want to waste the food, you know, and yeah. just like took it to the bin. We're not that kind of people. We like to finish all of our foods and not let them go to waste. But overall, we really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't yet, press subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.